Welcome back. Happy 4th of July and I'm super excited to bring you this makeup look. I wanted to create a makeup look using 4th of July theme but also incorporate different kinds of colors so it's not so traditional if you know what I mean. I was actually inspired by a YouTuber that I watched, That Girl Shay XO is her name, and she created a similar look but she wanted to change up the colors and I thought that would be an awesome idea just to not do the traditional red, white, and blue but to change it up and incorporate those colors at the same time. I really hope you guys enjoy the makeup look though. <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed the makeup look. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I have tons and tons of videos coming up for you guys and I don't want you to miss it. So don't forget to subscribe. No matter what day you guys are watching this video, I hope you guys have a fun and safe 4th of July. And yeah, if you would like to see how to get this 4th of July inspired makeup look, then go ahead and keep on watching. Be safe out there. Don't do crazy stuff. Alright guys, so first off we're going to prime the skin as per usual. We're using the Benefit Professional all over the areas that I need mattifying on the face. For foundation today, I'm going to be using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 128 Warm Nude. I'm taking a foundation brush by Delium Tools, just trying this out, but then I also go in with a beauty blender to do a second layer because I wasn't really liking these streaks that this foundation brush was giving me. Moving on to the eyes, I'm taking the MAC Soft Over Paint Pot just to put down a nice base. Next, I'm taking the shade Divinity from the Chocolate Bonbons palette by Too Faced and I'm just going to set the paint pot in place. I'm taking Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and this is going all over my crease and I'm using a tapered blending brush from Delium Tools to apply that. Moving into the Kat Von D Maybe the Loca palette, I'm taking the shades Dark Wave and Synth and I'm starting with Synth first just to place down the color on the outer corner. This is the flat shaker brush from Delian Tools. I take Synth and I just apply it in the outer corner and then I blend it into the crease a little bit and then you'll see me go in with Dark Wave with the same flat shader brush just to darken up that area to make it nice and blue and vibrant and you'll see me go back and forth and blending the two together. Then I'm taking this shade and this is ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Weenie. It was in collaboration with Caffeine Lights. I love this rose gold shade. I took a flat shader brush from Sigma and applied it all over to my lids, but it didn't give me the intensity that I wanted, so I just went in with my fingers and applied more just to give it more vibrancy.
Going back in with the same two colors, more of dark wave, I just decided to touch up the shade a little bit just to make sure it blends into each other with Weenie just so that there aren't any harsh lines and there's no separation between the shades. And then I always like to go back in and make sure everything is nice and blended out. The next shade I'm taking from this palette is called Harpsichord. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm taking this shade and applying this on top of Weenie just to give it more color and I love the effect that it gave. Next I'm taking this shade and it's called Lyric and you can't really tell because it's super blurry. I was trying to focus it but I took this nice shimmery white shade and just highlighted the brow bone. For my winged eyeliner, I am using the NYC Liquid Liner. It goes on glossy, but it dries to a matte finish, and I love it so much. Now to sharpen up the wing and clean it up a little bit, I took an angled brush from Delium Tools and I took some makeup remover and I just very carefully and very slightly just crisp up that line just to make it nice and crisp and sharp and yeah, I thought it was a really great idea. I actually learned this from Jaclyn Hill and it's an awesome idea when you want to touch up your liner. For mascara, I'm applying the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara because I'm only doing a thin coat because I will be going in with lashes. For lashes today, I'll be using the House of Lashes Tinkerbell style in the name Just Wing It. I love these lashes. These are actually looking like double lux. They're so beautiful. They're flared out. They're very fluffy and flirty looking. I love them. And I'm just using the eyelash adhesive that comes with, it doesn't come with it, but I ordered it, but it's, it was super cute and I wanted to try it, but it's the Tinkerbell style looking eyelash adhesive. And I just love these lashes, they're so pretty. They're very easy to apply. I did have trouble with one of them, but I think it's because I'm just not an expert at applying lashes, so I tried my best. I then went ahead and tight lined my waterline and the upper line. Now that sounded funny. I did the ColourPop Liner and Buster, I think it's called, and I just wanted to hide the lash band a little bit. Moving on to concealing the face, I'm taking the Better Skin by Maybelline Concealer in the shade Light Medium and just highlighting all the areas of my face and then blending it out with a beauty blender. set all the areas of my face, I am going to be taking the L'Oreal, L'Oreal, no, it's the Laura Mercy A Translucent Setting Powder. That is what I meant to say. I just set underneath my eyes and all over my face with this powder. For the lower lash line, I'm taking this really tiny precision brush by Delium Tools and just taking Dark Wave and Synth and blending them together and smoking out the lower lash line a little bit. And then I also took Harpsichord, and I know you can't really tell that much, but I also applied that and then blended it with the tapered blending brush. And then moving on to the inner corners, I took a different shade, which I don't know the name of it right now. It's a really pretty, more shimmery white than the other shade I was using, and I just highlighted the inner corners with that shade. Taking the Chella Highlighter pencil. I'm just going to just put this in the waterline just to brighten up my eyes a little bit. I rarely put 
any eyeliner in my waterline, but I wanted to brighten up the look, so I did that. And then I hit my bottom lashes with the Better Than Sex mascara. I wanted to be a little more creative and just add a little more white into the look, so I took this Wet n Wild White Liquid Liner and created an additional little wing right under the black liquid liner that I have. Going back to the face, I'm taking the BH Cosmetics Shimmering Bronze in Siren. It's their Bombshell Bronzes. Bronzes. Their Bombshell Bronzers, which I haven't used in a while. I just opened up my collection and just looked in and saw it and I'm like, let me use this for this look. I thought it was really pretty. It's shimmery but not too shimmery. And I just took a powder brush from Delium Tools to apply that. Blush, I'm taking the Too Faced Love Blush 16 Hour Blush Wardrobe in the shade I Will Always Love You. And another brush I'm using is also by Delium Tools, and this is a nice, fluffy cheek brush. I really like this brush. I just got these brushes in the mail, and I will be doing a whole video all about these brushes, so be on the lookout for that. Now, for highlight, I am using the Jaclyn Hill Face. Champagne Pop Palette. I forget the actual name of it, but I took the tapered blending brush from Delian Tools and just highlighted all the areas of my face with Champagne Pop. Jack it up. you guys already know, I go back in with my large stippling brush and blend everything out so everything just blends so seamlessly into each other. For lips, I definitely wanted to be creative and incorporate red because red is just so traditional, especially for me when it comes to 4th of July. This is London Fog. It's an ultra satin lip by ColourPop, and I actually haven't used it in a look, and it just turned out so beautiful. I love it so much. This is the completed look, of course. I hope you guys enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I hope you guys have a safe 4th of July, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!